passions welcome back to my channel welcome back to my office and welcome back to another video yes please do not forget to comment subscribe hit that notification bell so next time i drop another video be one of the first to pick up what i just dropped my bird's nest my bird nest yes 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 Need to get my hair trimmed like for real like oh my god needs to be trimmed but yeah i went to walmart today to return this um lunch box i bought thinking it could keep my food warm 25 dollars for garbage so i returned it and then when i returned i saw these hats so I'm just testing it out, not sure if I like it or not, and to think, $9. And I buy these things from free people for like um, 38 bucks. My goodness. So just testing it out. See if I like it or not. For some reason, it won't stay, it won't stay in position on my head. Like it keeps, I don't know why it just keeps raising up, but um, yeah, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my pale looking face. Yeah. Some days I have color, some days I don't. Shifted things. Um, word on the curb. Yes, Miss Chrissy. Miss Chrissy. Faith over fear. Mm. I mean, the girl came out and told us what it is. But I kind of suspected that because we don't even see a reflection of Rod. We don't even hear um from Rod. So I kind of suspected that. And she said it's not what we may all think it is. Y'all believe that? I don't. It has nothing to do with the um, DV. So what is it? But she won't say what it is. She has just realized that she can't, you know, no longer live with a lie, that she deserves better. And they're both not on the same playing field, basically. That she's probably there and he's there or she's there and he's here or they can't meet in the middle. So it's best. Rod is a good guy. He's a great with her churn. So if he's a good guy and he's great with your churn, what is the problem? See, this is why I say to you young ladies out there, Know what you're getting in, get know what you're getting into, and know what it's getting into you. You can't pick up just any old body, throw them in your house with their garbage, and allow them to stink up your life. Okay, especially when you have children. So I mean, you cannot believe what those young ladies put out there on the internet for us to see. You just cannot believe it. I mean, she got the fairy tale engagement, the ring of her dreams, Rob was the man of her dreams. All of a sudden, it's not really what I want. I was settling. I deserve better. Did you not know this from day one? I'm sorry, Chrissy. Um, you know, basically, I'm glad you took the time to work up the courage to come out and tell your subscribers what the real is, why they won't be seeing Rod on your um, platform, because you know questions are gonna be asked, and you know questions are still gonna be asked, as into why, 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 why did he really hit you? Did he really do this? Did he really do that? Da -da 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 and, um, you know, it's no one's business. I think you tried your best to express your truth. 
without telling the truth. I bought a lot of these hats today. This one says bad hair day. This one says be kind. I love this one. Love this one. Why do I see two of the same color hat? Because they have different wording on them. Yeah. And I got this one. Why did I get a black and white hat when I have this hat? Because it's polka dot. So, and I got this. Like I don't know what the hell to do with it. I probably won't ever use this. And I got these. I, this, uh, these I thought was so cute. Um, I got some Tylenol for my headache. Y'all hear it? My hubby calling. I'll be right back. Okay, I don't remember where the heck I left off. That was quick. Um, but, um, yeah, you know, like date a person for a moment, not for a minute, for a while, for a long time, you know, and usually it takes a person, I think about 90 days for you to truly start, start to get someone, not understand, start to get them, understanding them, just really start to feel if you want them in your life or if you don't, he'll be again, I'll be right back. You know, I think any person in a situation like Chrissy was with her past baby daddies and past relationships and her husband, you know, issue, being left while pregnant, not showing up at a birth. I think just anyone that it has experienced such, you know, um, heartbreak should first date themselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. Y'all know my digestive issue. I just had a me cold banana. Um, should first date themselves before you think about jumping any relationship. You should first be in a relationship with yourself. Okay. Create boundaries for yourself. Know what you want, what you don't want, what you're willing to put up with, what you're not willing to put up with. I mean, but now those young ladies, they pick up any old shit off the street, bring it home and play house. And now she's like, I've got to focus on my kids. Like, weren't you focused on your kids before? Maybe, maybe if you were doing that, you wouldn't have picked up. Okay that person that now you're you just finding out that ah eh, you're not for me you're not the person i want to be with right now you know what i think we need to like break off this engagement and just yeah let's end it before you kill me you know well better late than never chrissy it's best you do what you're doing now than after you say your i do's and then you're like shit i don't no more Okay, so I'm glad that you have come to your senses and, you know, you guys are always saying that you're changed and that you've evolved and that you've learned a lesson, but we shall see. And you're right, you shouldn't settle. And a lot of times, young women, you know, we have, because I've gone through it, the pretty face, the small waist, you know, everything. And I lacked, I lacked a lot of self-love for myself, you know, not because we're pretty and doesn't mean we, we got it all together. Not because, you know, we have good looks and, and we, we got it all between the sheets and all of that. And then the brain and all of that it doesn't mean that we're happy within ourselves. And one of the things we're going to have to, one of the things we have to learn is to know that it's okay to be by ourselves. It's okay to love on ourselves. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay not to have a man in your life. It's okay not to go to bed at night with a man next to you. Okay. It's okay. When you pour into you, God will send the right man your way. Be no child, one child or nine kids. Okay. That person the right man will come along when you pour into you.
such a mother. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. This is my daughter. And I... so happy and excited I just sent her that it says congratulations right there ah. God I tell you let me tell y'all something y'all out here stressing about man and finances and this and that and you want to get married and you need a dick in your vagina and oh my god that's your wound is a settle for any old thing let me tell y'all something there's no time at God's time you can't rush God, you can't rush God's perfection, God, God, God's good, his greatness, is is magnifique work. Wait on God. Let me y'all be like my daughter. Just wait. Just wait on God. Keep worshiping, keep trusting, keep having faith, and just wait. And just like that, he'll show up and show out. He may not come when you want him. But he's always on time. Hallelujah. I know, I know, I know. Ah, so excited. Oh my God. It is well. It is well. It is well. All in good time. All in good time. This is not about a man. This has nothing to do with a man. Only the man upstairs. Okay. My daughter's personal business. And I'm going to leave it there. But I'm happy. She's overjoyed. And God is rewarding her for her patience, her praises, her holding steadfast to his words. Yes. Yes. And for just believing in him. Yes. And that's what y'all need to do out there. Stop worrying about a dick. Okay. I'm going to leave that alone. So, I'm going to leave that right there. And I'll be right back. Guys, I'm back in a different hat. Like, I'm going to try them on and see which one fits best. And take the one back that I don't like and the one I had on earlier. I, I, I don't like it. This is why the tags are is still on my hats. Because I don't do it with tags until I know if I'm going to keep the product or return it so I love this but I, I think I would prefer to have this on this hat I really like how this hat like fully fits my big head and if y'all can tell that I was crying but I was my son oh that boy I was like let me talk to your dad because I don't want to talk to you anymore where's my husband <laughs> Y'all, I'm such a crybaby. Oh my goodness. And my son told me some, for him, it's wonderful news. For me, it's disappointing news because he, it, um, yeah, it requires him to go to Italy. And um, it was just, I don't want that. Nope. I was like, <laughs> I had you because I wanted you. <laughs> Why are you leaving me? I knew exactly. The time you were, the time I got pregnant with you, the day I got pregnant with you, what I was doing when I got pregnant with you, and <laughs> I knew, and I carried you for ten months, not nine. I knew exactly what I was doing. I want my baby. Why are you leaving me? <laughs> oh God, I was like, yes, it was that dramatic. I had you because I wanted you. You were wanted, and now you're leaving your mother. How selfish of you. <laughs> Where's my husband? I want my husband. <laughs> Put your father on the phone now. I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> like, guys, yes, it was like that. Yes, it was like that. Yes, it was like that. Oh. But we have to let them fly. And what I did was wrong. It was wrong. It was wrong. I was like, that boy, he's, just, 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 leave Nicholas alone. You let Nicholas make you cry. <laughs> he's 
like, stop it. He never know what to say when I'm crying. He hates when I cry. Oh my God, I've never seen a man like my husband I hate. He can't stand it when I cry. He just wants to make it all better. <laughs> and all he can do is just, babe, you're being really silly right now, okay? You know that boy this, you know that boy that. Yeah, oh, Jasmine, my Jazzy life, I've been sick in more than one ways, Jasmine. Right now, TMR have a live going, and I'm sure y'all will be watching about Olivia. Yes, and I feel like it's in my boxes, like all my free people stuff came, and I will unbox to another box right here. And there's a, another box right here. And another box here. I don't know what the hell is in that one. It's so flat. And the bigger box is down there. I'm not even gonna pick that up right now. There's a big box down there. When I'm unboxing my stuff, you guys will see what. Oh, the goodies. I got my stuff. Y'all, my neighbor's like, every day is your damn birthday. Every day is Christmas for you. Every day is a gift to yourself. I, oh my, one of my neighbors actually complains about all the boxes that comes to my house every day. And there's more. And that's not it. Let me see if that's all my stuff. <laughs> I love that Victoria's Secrets have full size women. Yes, that is now modeling for them. I love it. So let's see. This order is partially, y'all can see it, it's partially delivered. This is delivered. And this one here, delivered. Must be that big box down there. <gasps> they canceled something. What did they cancel? My jeans. They canceled my jeans. So most likely my jeans went out of stock. Dang. This right here is an old order. You guys can't even see that. Look at this. Like I am such a free people shopaholic. Like all that stuff. Look at that. I am addicted. And this goes on and on for years. This is years, years and years and years of me buying stuff. Years. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, this goes on and on and on. Yes, I love, like, honey, we can sit here all day and not just keep going and going and going and going and going and going and going. Yeah. Like, I bought this coat for a client of mine. $168 is such a cute coat. You guys can't see it, but it's an adorable coat. She saw me in it, loved it, and I just went and bought her one. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so Chrissy, let's get back to Chrissy. So now we know we haven't been, why we haven't been seeing Rod. Um, I am for growth and someone, you know, it's never too late to learn life lessons and better late than never. But how many times have we heard these young ladies, you know, perform, sing the, say the same script and perform the same scene. So we shall see, um, you know, do you guys think Chrissy's like having feelings for her ex? Because she did say that, you know, she's, I don't think she's divorced. And maybe they've been talking and maybe, you know, he wants to come back. You know, we shall see. And I would take that nigga back for shit. And if that happens, the girl did not learn a damn lesson. She hasn't learned a damn thing. Okay. Once bitten, twice shy. 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. More than likely he see her bigging up and coming up. And where he at is just going down. There's no growth, no prosperity, no nothing. But um, we shall see. We shall see. So I don't have really much, much to say about Chrissy more than, um, you know, pretty sure you guys heard all the other reactors already. Like I say, you know, you can put lipstick on the pig, but a pig is still a damn pig. I love this hat. I'm really, guys, let me, you know what? Let me try it on my hats and y'all can help me decide what to keep. This one fits extreme. Oh, y'all can tell I just dyed my hair. This one feel, and I've had that dyed in my hair for too damn long. Let's see this one. I like when I can feel that my hat is like fitted on my head. You know, like the first one, this one just felt like it just, it wasn't, just wasn't staying on. So even though I love this, faith over fear, and I have a sign up there that says faith over fear. Fear, fear. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I love this, but it doesn't fit well. I might just go get this embroidered on one of these hats. This one feels okay. It doesn't feel like it's going to come off or anything, but I'm going to... And then I have... Oh, y'all, excuse my hair. Oh, my Lord. My chicken head. But um, I washed my hair and dyed my hair last night. And this one... This one is not that bad. I kind of like this one. How do I look? Yeah, that's it. That's it on that. Is that the orange one? Oh my God, I dropped my thing on the floor. Oh my, if I stepped on this, I would have popped my ass. Um, yeah, that's a thing that I didn't get. Oh my God. Oh, where the, where's the orange? Where's the orange one? It says good vibes. Oh, I didn't get it. I kind of like this one too. So I think I'm just going to keep maybe these two, these two, or these two. I definitely like this one. So y'all let me know, okay? Y'all gonna see my nappy hair again because like I said, I'm trying on my hats. Should just twist my hair while I'm here. Yeah, twist up my bush, my bush. Oh, where's my? Uh oh, where's my thingy thing? My scrunchie. Okay, oh, here it is. See, look at that. I need to trim my end still. Look at that. Voila. No extensions, no wigs needed. Yes. I do need some ur though. My own ur. <laughs> My cats have more hair than I do. Actually, a Kayla does. I think this is so cute right here. Oh my God. I love this hat. It fits well and it's very comfortable. Like, very comfortable. And that damn hat I bought at Coles for 10 bucks, that's going back. Y'all know I love my hats. Like, when I see them, I gotta get them. Yeah, um. I didn't want to watch Chrissy's video all over again because I'm pretty sure you guys have seen that and, you know, um. We all know that what these young ladies put out there is not what it is. It's not the real. It's not the real and it definitely ain't raw. <laughs> Maybe it's raw because, you know, raw is undone. You know, it's not fully cooked, you know. Um, yeah, but, you know, one of the things that really um, got me with Chrissy is when she mentioned about, you know, focus on her children. Like, haven't you always been focused on your kids? But she, she said that in a way, like if she were focusing on her children, she might have, she may not have brought Rod in her life. So she's going to just, maybe she, maybe what she should have said was, you know, she's going to put 
more of a focus on her children and herself. Yes, mommy needs love too. Okay, but I think, um, you know, when you are a woman in Chrissy's situation or Jasmine's or Olivia's, I think it's best that we just invest in ourselves and our children. Um, like I say, I don't want to grow up. I'm an Amazon kid. There's a million toys at Amazon that I can play with from black to white <laughs> to purple or pink. It's the biggest toy store there is. I don't want to grow up because if I did, I wouldn't be an Amazon kid. <laughs> oh, by the way. Oh, baby, I got to show y'all this one. If there are any kids around, be gone. It's the adults only. Oh, and guys, can y'all see that? If y'all can see that, free people. What? This shit is the bomb. Okay. Purple or pink? A lavender too? Uh, this vibrator could be the best one for you. <laughs> <laughs> Lilo. Yes. Lily too. One size fits all. It's 150 bucks, but you know. It's worth the many, many pleasures you will have. Hey, <laughs> and even better with a spouse. I've never tried it with a spouse, but the reviews say it's even better when your spouse is just um, managing it for you. Okay. Mm, yes. Spice up your relationship. I think it's nice to introduce those things, those things in a relationship. And I think it's so stupid when guys gets like intimidated from a damn battery operated fucking dildo. Like seriously, why? Why? I mean, it's even better when they're the one that's you know, because you get them just just the same instructions like with themselves. Nope, not right there. Yep, there, right there, right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you got it. Don't stop, don't stop. <laughs> oh my God. I think some, most men are very intimidated by sexual toys and I do not understand why. I think it's, you know, it just, it makes the relationship that much more enjoyable. Yeah. You know, and other things that I won't say. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> All righty. So anyway, guys, I just want to come on here and give my little um, two cents on everyone else's five cents with Strummery Chrissy. I think that, you know, I applaud her for um, putting on her big girl panties and coming on out here and let us, letting us know what the real is as if we didn't already know, um, you know, and she did the right thing. I, I applaud her for that. She did the right thing. And, you know, I think all black women, all women, you know, should consider themselves a queen and worthy of better. Um, yes, your heart can be a bitch. I think our heart is just so untamed. And we need to learn how to tame our heart. And a lot of times we feel with our vagina and then our heart get all bubbly and confused and our, our soul gut is telling us, listen, it's not right. What you're thinking is not real. No, 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 run, run, run. But because they tickle our little fancy and our heart get all happy, our head get all gig giddy and we get all kind of confused and be like, oh, I found them out of my dreams. Oh my God. And, and, and we just start seeing babies and picket fence. And I mean, not long ago, Chrissy wanted to have Ra's baby. They, they were trying to get pregnant. She said she lost a couple of kids. They were trying and, 
You know, I mean, he was a perfect guy then. What the hell changed? He was so good that she wanted to have another baby by him. Then she came on and said, no, we're not having a kid. We're going to wait on that. Then she said, we're going to go wedding dress shopping. But she knows that she cannot keep up the charades. She knows that she needs to come on YouTube here and make her coins. I don't understand why them young ladies always tell me they're leaving YouTube. Oh, they're leaving YouTube. Where the fuck you going? How do you got the life? You got the life, honey. I would love to have y'all live. I would, I would love to be traveling up and down these Georgia streets and highways and byways. 595, 75, 95, and 285, and 84, and 85, whatever the hell. I would like to be sitting my ass home walking around with a damn camera or phone, you know. And now I got to just put whatever the hell I choose online because I have over 100,000 subscribers and just sitting back making money. Y'all got this shit easy. What y'all, don't y'all want to have the kind of life these girls have? Make, I mean, making the money, not the old hell, we don't want to lie. <laughs> but we want to be able to make the money that they're making the way they're making it. I'm trying to get this. I need y'all to hurry up and subscribe. Hurry, subscribe to my channel, okay? <laughs> yes. Baby, get no way ass ain't going nowhere. Where the fuck you gonna go with nine damn kids, five damn kids, four damn kids? How are you gonna pay for daycare? Huh? And I was watching, I, I'm watch, I was watching, um, what is this channel I was watching last night? Melby, what? And the, I mean, these people living in the big house, living the life. Going to my favorite stores, Nordstrom's, Macy's, Nero Marcus, and shopping. All because of YouTube. Okay? Have four damn cars. All because they post their life on YouTube. The thing with them girls that they're not managing their finances well. Is this my water? Did I put this over here? Yes, it's my water. Like, who else is going to come down and put a damn bottle of water down there like anyone else comes down here? You know what I'm saying? Everything I do, I'm doing it for my family. I want to make sure that, um, you know, they're okay. If, if, if God say, Hey, it's time. I want to make sure they're okay. You know, I am trying to grow this platform because it's what I'm trying to do. It's what I want to do. Okay. So y'all need to hurry on up now. You hear So I'm going to jump off of Chrissy. Because I don't like to, my videos to go over 30 minutes. And lately they have been. Um, but like I said, Chris A, I guess a great guy wasn't so great. And I wish those young ladies would stop trying to make their life more than what it is. Because eventually what goes on in the dark will come to light. Okay? Y'all are doing too much. And I believe like if they should actually just put their truth not the real and the raw, the fake and the phony, okay? Because that's what her real and raw means, fake and phony. I think they would probably, when people more gravitate to their channels than anything else. Like when I come here and I shed my tears, when I speak to you guys, I speak from the heart. I actually know this bitch up in here. Mm -mm. I speak from experiences, my pain, and my soul. And I share my authentic self with you guys. Should anyone find it offensive, I'm sorry. It's my truth. Do not let my truth be a hindrance to your joy. Should anyone find it in some way inspiring or encouraging, oh, thank God. You know, should anyone want to talk about it or be negative about it or whatever, feel free. Um, if it makes you happy, it can't be that bad. If it makes you happy, then why the hell are you so sad or mad or whatever? So, um, it is what life is what it is, but it's good that we're growing and learning from our mistakes. But I'm hoping it's the last damn time. 
We're going to see Chrissy up in here, you know, talking about a man. I hope any man that she's with, we don't know about it until there's a ring on her finger and she's showing us a video of the wedding. And I hope to God it's another five, ten years from now because, girl, you have a lot of baggage to unload, a lot of bruises, life beatings you have to dress okay and aid so um you know you and, and healing i tell you healing comes with maturity and that comes over time um from what i can see these girls like to have their fancy okay they like to have it tickled okay they have to have pickles tickling their mm -hmm. so okay, let's see how long that lasts for you can get your kicks on the side but girl you know, ain't nobody got to know. You can tickle your fancy while you're taking care of you. You know, mama needs some tickling too. That's what I'm saying, y'all. That's what I'm saying. Amazon and free people. Oh, someone called me an hour ago. Yes. Does the body good. Stress too. Take the stress away. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. But guys, it's it on that. That thank you so much for watching. Um, I don't have much to say about that. More than you know, these girls are just full of drama and lies and 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 all kinds of stuff. And we just gotta wait to see what comes out. We just gotta wait to see what's next. Chrissy promises content. In the bullet see. She says she coming back bigly. You know. So I'm like, Jasmine, Olivia. Christy's back. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to go over to Jazz Land and see what's going on over there. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your time is so precious to me. Okay. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So next time I drop another video, you want the first to pick up what I just dropped. Y'all appreciate it. Be blessed, be bold, be beautiful, but most importantly, be in love with you and your God because no one can do you like you can. Okay. Thumbs up. If not, that's okay. I'm not for everybody, but thank God I am my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Bye for now. Let's go to Jazzy's house. What the hell's going on over there?